support our coverage with a free account on Privacy, the service that keeps you protected when shopping online. Get $5 to try it now by using promo code QZZ2J. Yeah. Hello everyone, it's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. We're coming to you live at CES 2024. We have Brain Chip Inc. with us and Robert Telson with us. And this guy is absolutely amazing. So, uh, Yeah, no, Brain Chip develops an AI neural network accelerator. No kidding. So what that means is intelligence, right? So when you look out at the floor here and you think of all these great devices that are being built, uh, my favorite are the smart brisket machine and the home brewer machine and smart toothbrushes and all this intelligence that, that these guys are offering in their products, um, BrainChip develops a neural network accelerator that allows you to actually um, Im embed um, AI into these devices for the future. And what makes it unique compared to the, let's say, the NVIDIAs of the world that do AI is that um, our architecture is... Um, develop very similar to the human brain based off the neuromorphic principles. Okay. What would the consumer end result be of this product? Um, it would be, uh, I don't have to plug in a device for six months. I think uh, very, very similar to a human brain, which means that I'm actually multitasking. Right now, you're looking at me. Your, your engine is looking at me, but you're listening to me. You want to hear what I'm having to say. Your hands are touching each other. These are all different senses. And in the traditional AI world of today, the AI engine only can do one processing event at a time. But with the neuromorphic architecture, it processes multiple events at a time. And it does it consuming very little energy. And that's what BrainChip does. So what makes us even more unique is we develop this as IP, which means you embed it into the chips of today. So all your traditional silicon manufacturers are going to take the AI that we develop and put it into their engines at some point. So what are you saying, it's like a multi-thread AI? Yeah, um, and, and for, the mean, purpose for, of, of yeah, for the purpose of this discussion yet, yeah. Don, so basically what you're looking at is you're looking at the ability to do multiple functions at a time. So let's talk about the cabin of a vehicle. And you know, you've seen companies like Mercedes announce that right. now you can sit in their vehicle, it's gonna recognize the driver, it's gonna recognize gesture, it's gonna recognize voice. BrainChip's been uh, um, 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 touting that technology for a couple years now. For a couple years? Yes. How many years? So about two. We started doing it when we launched our first chip, and really? we talked about the fact that you could uh, sit in a smart cabin of a vehicle, and with BrainChip's technology, you can not only recognize that there's a driver in the driver's seat, but you can recognize them by name. So let's say you had three or four people in your family, you had a really nice car, but your youngest child, you only wanted them to be able to drive that car 50 miles an hour. So you'd know that you could label it Junior, Junior sits in the, the car. This stuff is almost scary. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really <laughs> and is. And kind of go from there, right? And then you could recognize it by voice, and you can recognize it by um, gesture and so on. Is this technology being utilized right now? Um, it's still in the process of being adopted, right? So part of AI is the fact that it takes a while for these technologies to not only be developed, but then you have to get them to a level of accuracy that we as consumers are going to be able to use on an everyday basis. So it's a combination of inputting the correct data. Yep. And then also understanding be that and yep. then applying applications based on. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what I get excited about when I'm at CES is I see all of the great products that are being announced and right. all the pr products that are released. Intelligence. All of them, as consumers, we're going to demand more. I have to tell you, not to interrupt you, yeah. but. Every single interview that I've had, and this is the first time I've been at CES for 24 years, every single interview, and I've done quite a few, every one is AI. Yeah. Every single, there's not one person who's come up here. Yeah. Not surprising. Not surprising. Because um, the, the thing about AI is the message is extremely broad. Um, and, and so a lot of us in, in the space of delivering solutions that, that highlight uh, intelligent devices, are going to sit and say, well, I, I provide it from a software standpoint, I provide it from a hardware standpoint. Um, BrainChip's going to provide it from the, the initial well, embedded in intelligence into the device. It's kind of like on steroids almost. Yeah, exactly. It's exactly. pretty fascinating. All right, now I have a, a, an interesting question for you. Okay? <laughs> okay. And this has been bugging me, and I haven't found the right person to ask, but you are. Here's my question, and it's, it's been driving me crazy. AI in my head has been only around for three years at max, at least that I'm, quote, technically aware of it. And only in the last, again, 
year-ish, year and a half-ish, you know, chat GPT is relatively yeah. new, blah, blah, blah. How on earth can you put together a company at this high level using AI when it's just, it's ultra brand new? I just, I can't understand it. You know, the, the great thing. Is that thing, a fair question? It's, it's a fair question. BrainChip's been around for, for a while now. And we're actually on our second generation of our device. Really? We um, um, have launched our second generation of our architecture. Uh, when you look at when um, truly intelligent devices will be integrated into consumer-based products, um, we're still three to seven years out to see really, really intelligent devices um, that have the level of accuracy that the devices are thinking um, ahead of us or thinking at the same level that a human does. Can they think ahead of us? Uh, yeah, we're seeing it right now with stuff like ChatGPT and the, the large language models and some of the stuff that's happening. It's moving at a very fast so rate. So do, do you think AI is going to be smarter than the human brain? No, absolutely not? not. Just not? because um, it, it, it can't think at the same level that the human brain does. Um, the, if, it, if we play this game right, though, there's going to be a lot of good that comes out of AI. Um, it's going to be used correctly. But AI is still, and you can see it with ChatGPT, it's still making decisions that still aren't in line with, with, with um, how the human brain would function. But it seems to me that that's only a, uh, a little bit away, uh, a little bit more tinkering here and there. It, it, it's going to get to that point. Do you we'll, think? We'll still raise the game, and there's still a long ways for it to go. Right. Um, but at the, the end of the day, nothing can... can overrun, I shouldn't say nothing, but from our experiences, what we've seen and, and the way we've mapped things out is that the, the, the human brain is still the most efficient, um, most rational, logical, functioning system that there is. And you believe that? Yeah. Okay. You're at CES. What kind of person, what, who's your client that's going to be here? Who are you, what are you looking to accomplish at CES? Yeah, so we're approaching this from a variety of different avenues. So we have um, the traditional device manufacturers. These right. are guys that are going to be building their own silicon. They want to embed our technology into their silicon for their next generation t intelligent devices. Then we have the systems manufacturers. These are guys that build boxes like we see on the floor here, right? right? And those systems manufacturers are saying, how do we get to intelligence? Right. Right. So there's some synergies there that you're looking for companies that will have you know similar goals and you're going to team up absolutely partnerships. and then we have the software guys that are doing a lot of great stuff that want to take their software yeah, yeah, embed yeah. it into our systems and devices and work together so we approach this from three different phases right. and we've had a lot of success a I'm lot of sure. good discussions at ces so it's a good year for brain chip great well rob thank you so much for being here yeah. uh, i'm going to let you go now The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.